Crunchyroll Premium lets you watch the newest anime right after it airs in Japan in beautiful high definition and on all your devices. Right now on Crunchyroll, Attack on Titan, Digimon Adventure 2020, also available, plus the brand new Jujutsu Kaisen anime, and hundreds of old favorites like Dragon Ball Super, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, and so much more. Try it out for free right now at crunchyroll.com slash geekdom. The link will be down below, and I thank them for sponsoring this video. Okay, we have tons, I mean tons, of major spoilers that DBS Hype got his hands on. More pages from Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 66. I'm giving you a warning now. We're going to have spoilers and big ones, okay? A lot of stuff happens. Some big surprises that I wasn't even expecting. I'm sure many of you were not either from Toyotaro. This is your last chance now. Click off the video if you don't want to be spoiled. Don't complain. You have a chance right now to click off. Okay. We're going to get right into it now. DBS Hype has some new scans and uh, very interesting surprises that I've been looking at here. But I am going to be looking at these with you guys for the first time. This is my first time looking at these, so um, I'll be just as surprised as you are with some of the things that happen here in this chapter. So let's go ahead and get to these images right here. Um, DBS Hype wrote, you know, DBS spoilers, so that way if anybody scrolls down his feed, they don't get spoiled on accident. It's kind of a trick to kind of hide the image. But if we go in right here, first image. So Vegeta does indeed help. Vegeta throwing a huge right hand into the ground, which seems to be damaging Moro. So Vegeta does step in to help. This is probably going to be the image that happens after the leaked uh, drafts. Not leaked, but, you know, the release drafts from last week. Where Vegeta's like, out of the way, Kakarot. And then Goku, you know, is like, what? And then Vegeta just punches Moro. You know, the earth, so to speak, hitting Moro and hurting him. Next image right here um, is... Let's see. It looks like that's Goku trying to get close to Moro. Moro using his hands coming out of the earth. Goku dodging out of the way. This looks fantastic. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect scene for Naoki Tate to animate. Should they, or when, they eventually adapt this into the anime. Um, some folks have been saying they want this to be a movie. But I don't think, I think there's too much stuff that happens in this arc for it to be a movie. Way too much stuff, you know. I think this works better as like a 25 to 30 episode TV arc. Um, unless you shave a lot of the stuff. You have to cut a lot of stuff out. I don't think it works as a movie, you know. I think it works much better. Maybe two movies. Maybe that. But I think it works better as like a 25, 30, maybe 35 episode arc with some filler here and there, you know. Not anything too crazy. A little bit of filler. Maybe extra dialogue, extra flashbacks, more on Mirus and Goku. It can be done. I'll do a video on that if you want. Um... But yeah, I love this. I really love that shot right there. Kudos to Toyotaro for drawing a pretty nice little set of panels. Next manga chat or next manga spoiler. Um, more of Goku just dodging and duking and juking and jiving around um, uh, Moro's hand until Moro finally tries to. This is wacky right here, yo. There's like four hands right here, yo, trying to capture Goku. And he's just trying to punch through him, which he does do. Goku just punches through him in the Superman pose. That is the infamous Superman pose. Um, I like it. I like that stuff. Yeah, no complaints from me so far, yo. The only complaint I've really had lately was what Goku did with the Senzu last month. Everything else seems to be pretty cool. And then here's Goku punching through Moro, trying to get to the crystal. Remember, Whis told Goku to destroy the crystal. That's how he can beat Moro. And, um, Goku gets caught right here. He gets squeezed by Moro. Did not do the job in this manga panel. So, a little bit more there. Now... Here's where things get interesting, all right? Next one. Vegeta's there. Again, Goku being squeezed by Moro, as you can see right there, knocked out of Ultra Instinct. I don't think we've seen Goku get knocked out of Ultra Instinct except for during the Jiren fight when his body gave out on him, but we've never actually seen a villain knock him out of UI. Um, MUI or whatever, a silver-haired UI. And Vegeta's there, you know, again, being with the assist. So Vegeta probably is not getting the kill here, folks, but at least he helps out. Shouldn't surprise you. Now, Vegeta is using Force Spirit Fission to gather energy to help Goku. And look who decides to show up. Goten and Trunks. Now, okay, that's freaking cool, first of all, because they're wearing the um, Minotaur Island Reserve shirt. 
that 17, you know, the 17 clothing because they're still helping out with that. But man, we have not seen. And I guess that they that Vegeta was able to sense or they were able to sense Vegeta doing this. So Vegeta is doing kind of a, what looks to be again. I don't have all the all the details yet. His version of the spirit bomb of the Genki Dama um, with uh, the four spirit fission or something similar to it. Right. He's gathering energy and Goten and Trunks are there and they're donating energy from the island. So we have not seen Goten and Trunks be directly involved in how long has it been? Years? I mean, if you exclude the anime version of Resurrection F, the anime version, because they were in that one, not the movie, Goten and Trunks haven't done anything since the fight with Beerus when they got spanked. Remember when they got spanked? So we have not seen Goten and Trunks. I mean, I don't unless you want to count the Potafu arc, that there is the Potafu arc. Outside of that, they've done nothing, nothing. I mean, even in the Trunks arc, Kid Trunks was around, but he didn't fight. So it's good to see them all helping out as well. Pretty cool little bonus Easter egg from Toyotaro. Here we have Goku still being squeezed by Moro, hit the life out of him. Um, you know, he's just... What, what am I going to tell you? He's being squeezed. I mean, there's not much there to, to, to break down. You know what I'm saying? Next picture. Um, Goku Powery trying to power back up. It looks like, it looks like based on the, the way that the shading is, that Goku is trying to go back into God form there. Just regular red-haired God form. And uh, Dende's looking on here. Goku being stuck. I'm guessing everybody else is going to help out here in just a moment. But um, that's pretty cool. But we ain't done. We ain't done. There's a lot of panels here to look at. Uh, and there's the giant Vegeta Four Spirit Fission Spirit Bomb. I guess you can call it Genki Dama, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if that's actually what it is. I don't want to call it that. I don't want y'all to get confused, but it looks to be very similar, right? It's like the same idea. Take energy, put it together. You know, Four Spirit Fission is like the cousin of the Spirit Bomb of the Genki Dama. In fact, when I do my technique guide on the Spirit Bomb, on the Genki Dama, I think I'll probably do the Spore 4 Spirit Fission one right after and make it like a two-parter type of thing. You know what I mean? Because they, they, I'm waiting for more information, of course, but they seem to be very similar in how they work as far as the gathering energy part of the equation. Goku looks like he's asleep right there. I like it. Uh, let's see, next page. Uh, now, this is interesting right here. This is interesting. So, the Grand Supreme Kai with Majin Buu's body, boy, this is a surprise right here, folks, shows up, finds Oob, and lets Oob donate energy to the Genki Dama for Vegeta. Oob! Oob donates... Oob! Now, this... Now, before anybody says anything, this does not contradict with the end of Z, because I don't think Oob has any idea why he's giving energy... I don't think he knows who Goku or Vegeta are yet because he's not supposed to until the end of Z. Remember, this is before the end of Z, so he has no idea who Goku and Vegeta are. He doesn't know any of this stuff, but I guess the Grand Supreme Kai in Majin Buu's body, because that's what he does, wanted recognize that Oob was around, you know, his doppelganger, his whatever you want to call it, his evil side, who's not evil anymore, and uh, helped out. That's a big shocker. Now, that is a huge surprise. I was not expecting that. I don't think anyone. I didn't see a single person. A single person predict that Oob was going to donate energy for Vegeta. So this is almost like a, a version of the Boo arc. You know, it's just so ironic. Because think about how cool this is. Kid Boo was killed by a Genki Dama with energy from millions. Right? Billions, in fact. And now, Kid Buu reincarnated helps defeat a greater foe. That's kind of cool, dude. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I, again, Toyotaro is, in my opinion, y'all, he is making up for the last chapter. He is totally making up for it. Again, I'm not saying that I agree with what happened last chapter. I thought that was garbage. But the fact that he's throwing in these little Easter eggs that don't really feel forced, they don't feel forced to me. I'm okay with that. That's the good kind of fan service. Ja and there, there we go. There's Oob and Grand Supreme Kai. Boo. You know, it, it's the same body. And uh, they're there. And I guess everybody else is there as well. Um, we're we're going to have translations for all that in the future. Probably later today. So, again, subscribe. Hit notification bell. You know the drill. You should know by now. Um, 
Here's Vegeta with the huge Genki Dama. Uh, awesome, awesome. Like, Vegeta now knows teleportation and the Spirit Bomb, which are two of Goku's most iconic moves. So I wonder if now Vegeta would be considered... Maybe he doesn't know UI, obviously, but... He might be considered a more tactical... I mean, he's always been a more tactical fighter, but now that he knows Goku's techniques, it makes you wonder now, you know what I mean, if he really is a better fighter, a more well-rounded fighter. Because these are two very important moves, and Vegeta now knows them. Did we see that one already? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, Vegeta really helps a lot. All right, and this is the big finale right here. Let me uh, open this up for y'all. Goku being squeezed. Here comes the big Genki Dama, which Vegeta throws into the earth, which is Moro. This is going to be... Dude, I cannot wait for them to animate this. I cannot wait for them to animate this. It's going to look great. It's going to look great. If they get the top team on it, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to be exciting. He throws it at the earth, right? And there's Whis at one point watching what's going on. At this point, it's probably where we're going to get the part where Goku turns giant and then has a little Goku leave his forehead, which we saw in the last spoiler video I did. If you have not watched that video, you're going to have to watch that one so you can see this one because the images are all, you know, they're, 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 they're all there, okay? I, I don't think Hype posted the, the, the images again. It's the same thing. And here we have Goku. The, the little Goku that leaves Goku's forehead comes in and punches the crystal and cracks it. And I guess Whis realizes on his way to the Grand Priest... That Goku has indeed accomplished the job and cracks Moro's forehead. Next image. And it looks like Moro is destroyed. As you can see right here. Huge explosion. Moro loses control of his body. Explodes like a balloon. Pop goes the weasel because the weasel go pop. <laughs> Where did I get that from? Oh, well, that was from Night Professor. Pop, go the weasel, because the weasel go pop. Remember? Sherman's never had relations. That's a good movie. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Anyways, Moro explodes. He's went, He goes bye-bye. And uh, there is Goku with the classic thumbs up. I won. So the battle ends this chapter, but the story's not over. We got unresolved business to take care of, folks, because next manga chapter... We got to see what's going to happen with the cleanup here. What's going to happen with, you know, Grand Supreme Kai and Boo. What's going to happen with Grand Priest and uh, Whis and Beerus and, and Miris and that whole story arc. We're not done with that. Some of you have theorized that the next story arc is going to be about bringing Miris back or about the rules. I certainly do hope that this is going to lead to the Grand Priest putting provisions on the angels and on the gods of destruction about getting involved in fights. Because and getting involved in earth and earthly matters, immortal matters, because it I told you guys I've complained about this a lot, you know. We can't have the gods always getting involved. It's gotta be only under extreme circumstances. And I guess moral was an extreme circumstance, but Grand Priest made it so that they wouldn't get involved because they had to go talk to him for whatever reason. So overall, I do love the infamous Goku with the thumbs up. Uh looking shredded right here. Look at that six pack. Uh that's gonna be interesting for some of the ladies out there who like cartoon men, but uh with that being said, that's it. Goku defeats Moro. This is the end of Moro. Um, and we will have complete, complete spoilers later today. And my complete analysis and breakdown of all of this is coming as well tomorrow when the chapter comes out. So enjoy that. And then we're going to talk all about it. And then we're going to have an arc recap. And then we're going to have... I got a lot of videos planned for you guys. Yo, I got a top 10 WTF moments like Emergency Awesome. Anyways... I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Subscribe. Hit the notification button. We got more coming. And watch that end of Dragon Ball GT Explain video that you're going to see on your screen right now because it's some of my best work ever. If you ever wonder what the end of GT means, what happens, I break it all down. Not a theory. The actual explanation. Love you guys. I will talk to you soon.